Four points still the difference on the top of the table over in the Deutschlands, of course, with Ajax still leading the charge over PS Bloody V. But we've got a zinger zinger coming at you this weekend to maybe decide which way the title will go. We'll take a look at it, all of it, next. In our prediction video today, we look forward to the, th the match number 32. That's right, over in the Dutchlands. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe and keep banging today with all things Ed of his A related, Bab and Rose related, World Football related. We got all here, boys. Under one Ruski. That's right. Ajax still need to charge four points clear over PS Bloody V. Uh, of course, for the rest of the top, still could go down to the wire here if things get a little bit spicy this weekend. Of course, take a look at that and more in just a second. Of course, big shout out to my VIPs. They're the pay uh, tree ons, boys. But of course, let's get into it, of course, take a look at how we all got on in the month of April. That's right. We'll recap, of course, uh, the last results, which are coming at you right here, right now, including these ones right here. Ajax with a 3 0 win over PEC Zwolle Utrecht with a 1 0 win over NEC Nijmegen. Uh, Fortuna Siddharth did lose to Final, a 3 1 win in the end there. Go at Eagles uh, did lose to Vietes Arnhem. Hookley's Armour with the one more draw against my boys, FC20. Uh, so there's a bit of a shitter there. PSV, I know, with a 4 2 win over Wilhelm Tway. RKC, Wow with a 3 1 win over Groningen. And of course, Hedemine with a 3 3 draw against Canberra. Six goal, Bobby Dazzler. And Sparta with a draw against AZ Alkmaar, of course, who could have a major deciding factor in which way that title will go. So let's get into, of course, the uh, the table. It looks just like this. And as you can see, uh, of course, Ajax lead the charge. 78 points on the board there. PSV are in second. And of course, final are in third. And brother, they've probably got enough now, I think, for third as FC20 fluff their lines of course they've got to keep their eyes on AZ Almar who've got their own uh, European uh, endeavours to compete for meanwhile, meanwhile do the foot the table look at that 26 points is the answer Wilhelm Tway, Sparta and PEC as well are all on 26 points and of course Fortuna said are also in the mix there but 29 you might even also uh, drag into the mix of their RKC wow depending on how things go in the last game or so so let's get into of course how you guys got on last time around so take a bloody bow these guys there's actually quite a bunch of years uh, Winky Iman Hussain Jimmy Watton Lionel L 50 uh, point, uh, blah, 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 blah. And of course, Russell Frost with Nat again kicking ass with five points. That's, of course, this past week. What about the, the of course, since uh, January? Of course, the turn of the season. It's actually been Jordan. He's been stepping up to the plate. There's 75 points on the board. But who has actually been ro running away with it the whole the whole campaign? We have, of course, rolled into the month of May. Of course, we've got the last month now. Maybe a shorter month. A uh, chance for you to, to win a predictor of the month. And maybe even sneak in there and take the, the prize from of guys who have been here from the get-go. What a, what, a, what a gutter that would be. Uh, but anyway, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. You know the deal there. But of course, who is the predictor of the month or the predictors of the month for the month of April? Well, here they come. It's actually Lionel L on his, so on his Todd there. Solo effort there. So well done to you. Here you go. The join this uh, illustrious name of a uh, uh, wall of fame there. Winky's in there a couple of times. And Alec M is on there a few times. It's been quite a decorative uh, month as well. So uh, well done to you. You're in that mixer and we'll, we'll do all that stuff when things calm down a little bit at the end of the campaign. But who has actually been winning it? <laughs> Zanuck M with 152 on the board. Lionel's up there, though, with 146. Uh, of course, Adibet the Great is in there with 140. I believe, I believe, if my maths is correct, three games left, 30 points. No, not for 30 points, about 27 points on the offering. So, yeah, I would probably say top four are in it. Maybe, maybe top three uh, are realistically in it. Uh, but, of course, it can all get spicy. Of course, coming at you this weekend. Cutty Force just Dutch getting amongst it is free to enter. And, of course, get your name in lights, including with these ones. Look at that for, for, for a start put starting points. It'll be AZ Outmar uh, hosting uh, Ajax. Of course, coming at you on Sunday, May the 8th. May the 8th be with you, of course, at the AFA Stadium, of course. Played each other 59 times in 1996. 13 wins to AZ Outmar, 34 wins to Ajax. And, of course, 12 draws, of course. Ten Hag is on his way out. Uh, of course, Meemar, AZ out. Mark Kempton is at 58% form. Just one win. So, one defeat past six for them. Uh, up against the Ajax side, of course, just one loss. The last six, 83% uh, form for them heading into this match. That's around over in AZ in the league. Uh, it was a 3 new win for Ajax way back in January 2020. And on the reverse fixture, of course, a 2-1 win for uh, AZ out. On this campaign back in December over in Amsterdam, of course. They also played each other in the KMV back in semi-final. It was a 2 one 2 new win for Ajax back in March as well. Ajax pick up a 3 new win of Azuala. Back-to-back clean sheets for them. Up against the AZ the Atmos side picked up a draw against Sparta on the road. Of course, the odds for this one though, we got seven to two. Is your AZ ten seven on? Is your Ajax? They are favoured quite heavily, quite 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 fancy by the bookies. And we got a uh, we got three one draw. I think I'm actually going with the draw here. A two two in the end goals galore, which of course is not good enough for uh, for PSV to top the table. But of course they could close it uh, to maybe what is it? We two points from four points to two points if they get the win in their own game. We'll take a look at that shortly. Meanwhile, Grudigan uh, they're going to be locking on against Sparta Rotterdam coming at you as well on the seventh of May. May the seventh be with you. Of course, play. 
each other the first six times since 1983, 14 times since Grunion, 11 wins for and 11 draws, of course. Grunion, though, lost four on the bats, 33% form for them, up against the Shabada side, of course, a 25% form uh, for them, uh, without a win in, in at least the last six games. Of course, last time around over in Grunion, it was a 2-1 win for Sparta back in May 2021, in fact, uh, in the reverse direction, of course, a 1-1 draw in Sparta back in October 2021. The home side hasn't won the last uh, the last four games in this match, of course, uh, so take from that from what you will. Uh, Grunion with a 3-1 loss against Warwick, of course, Sparta with a draw against AZ Outmar, big home draw there for them on this one. Coming at you though, the odds. Grunigan at even Stevens for the victory. 13 to 5 is your away win and 5 to 2 is your draw here. Yeah, I'm going to go with the one anyway for Grunigan here. They'll break the hook. They'll, they'll break the jinx and take the three points home uh, to Grunigan on this one. Final. Uh, they're going to be taking on, of course, PSV. Zinger, zinger, chicken dinner. What a course. A double, du double, 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 double bonanza we've got this weekend over in the A de Vise. Uh, at the two kip, of course, on the 8th of May. Maybe the 8th be with either of you. 64 times they play. Shows 93. 27 wins of final. 25 wins for PSV and 12 draws. Final winning 5 on the bounce. Goodness Christian me. 90% form for them. Up against the I never side of one three in the bounce. 75% form over the last six. Of course, final are in action in the Europa Conference League semi-finals. Big week for them. Also, but of course, last time round at final, it was a 3-1 win for final back in uh, January 2029. In fact, final unbeaten against PSV over the last six occasions, picking up three wins and uh, three draws as well. Wow, wow, we wow indeed. Meanwhile, final coming to this on the back of the 3-1 over Sittard, of course, like I said. Not like I said, but like I said, they're taking on Marseille in Marseille uh, with the upper hand in that game. That's coming at you on Thursday as well. Final, uh, sorry, a PSV, of course, with a 4-2 win over Wilhelm Tway. The odds, though, for this one, of course, it's about banger in 11-8 is your final. 7-4 is your away win. 13-5 is your draw. I just think maybe a bit of a hangover, perhaps, for uh, P uh, for, for final on this one. Uh, maybe it's celebration mode or something like that. I just think they they will lose this game. Uh, despite the record books and everything, despite the bookies, I'm going with against the grain here. PSV, take the 3-2 win to make it a very, very spicy end to the season as well. But still, they will not be top. They still be uh, got a lot of work to do uh, with the win as well. Next, of course, NEC now making up against <coughs> Go Ahead Eagles. Coming at you on the 8th of May at the Grifter Stadium. Played for the 18 times in 1984. Four wins for Nijmegen. Seven wins for Go Ahead Eagles and seven draws. Just one minute six of Nijmegen right now. 25% form. Up against the Go Ahead Eagles side of 1-3 and lost three of the last six. 50% form for them heading into this match. That's around, of course, over at uh, Nijmegen. It was a 2-1 win for Nijmegen, Nijmegen back in uh, October 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, uh, that was in the Est de Vise. That's the second tier of the Dutch football, of course. They also played each other. The reverse fixture, a 2-1 win for Nijmegen in Go Ahead Eagles back in December 2021. However, they also played each other in the KMV Becker in Nijmegen back in February 2022 is around the quarterfinal stage. It was a 2 0 win for Go Ahead Eagles on the bloody road. Uh, of course, Go Ahead Eagles picking up a, a 2 1 loss against Vietessa Arnhem. Of course, uh, Nijmegen with a 1 0 loss against Utrecht. And Nijmegen haven't actually scored a goal in the last three games, so a bit problems there. Alone a 10 uh, uh, is your Nijmegen. Of course, 12 to 5 is short and 5 to 2 is your way when it's Go Ahead Eagles. I think I've gone with a draw here, haven't I? 1 1 in the end, point split right in the middle. Uh, I think they're both safe, uh, I think. Anyway, I kick it off all though. PECs while I'm taking on. Uh, uh, FC Utrecht coming at you on Saturday, May the 7th, of course. Play show the 27 times, 2 5 wins as well. 30 wins at Utrecht and 9 draws. Of course, Wallace just won the feet past 3. 33% form for them. Up against Utrecht side, just one, one defeat past 4 for them. Uh, of course, 33% form over the last uh, 6 as well. Last time out, of course, over in. Zvola. It was a 1-1 draw back in November 2020. The reverse fixture course, a 5 one for Utrecht in Utrecht back in September 2021. The way so hasn't won this game since uh, Utrecht beat Zvola back in December 2016 in the KMV Becker way back when. Meanwhile, of course, Zvola uh, with a 3-0 loss against Ajax, of course. Uh, Utrecht with a 1-1 win over Nijmegen. Coming at you, though, uh, Zvala with a 50 to 8 for the victory. 12 to 5 is your draw, and 11 to 8 is your Utrecht if you're a bookie man, bet, betting man. I'm going to go with a win for uh, Utrecht on the road here. 2 to 1 for them to end the season with a big, or end, 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 starting to end the season with a couple of more points in the back. Next, of course, we have Cambo up against RKC Warwick. That's coming at you on Friday. May the 6th be with you. Of course, played the 23 times in 1904. 8 wins for Cambo, 6 wins for Warwick, and 9 draws. Of course, Cambo, though, haven't won the last 7 games. 8% form for them. Up against the Warwick side, of course, 50% form. 1 2, lost 2, and draw 2 of the last 6. Uh, of course, heading into this match, uh, of course. Last time around, though, over in Cambo, it was a 2 win for Cambo back in September 2018. That was in the, the second tier. The last time around, of course, they played each other uh, in Warwick as a 1 win for Cambo back in uh, October 2021. So, Cambo unbeaten against Warwick over the last 6, picking up uh, 4 wins. In fact, they've won 4 in the bounce uh, against them. Uh, against Warwick, so they'll fancy the chances here. Campbell with a 3 3 draw against Hedemine, of course, Warwick with a 3 1 win over uh, Grunigan. The odds though coming at you for this one 6 to 5 is your host, 1 to 10 is your away win, and 5 to 2 is your draw. I'm going to go with a, t a 1 win for Campbell here again, making another win against Warwick to continue the streak. FC 20 mile boys up against Fortuna Siddhar coming at you on Saturday, May the 7th. Now, these two sides have pitched it 20 times in 9 10 5. 10 wins for 20, 4 wins for Siddhar, 6 draws. Of course, just one defeat in the past 6 games for 20 right now, 67% form up against the Siddhar side who have. Uh, 
just one feet past four for them, 42% form heading into this match. Last time, of course, oh, in uh, in 20 in the Gosh Vesta was the 2 win for 20 back in uh, September 2020. Uh, of course, the reverse fixture, of course, the 2 1 win for Siddard in Siddard back in August in match day number one. Meanwhile, Siddard with a 3 1 loss against a final last time round, of course, at a 20 with a draw against Hercules Amla on the road. The odds here, 5 to 2 on is your 27 2 is your 7 1 is your away when that's uh, Siddard here. Could it go with a 3 win from my boys? Bounce back ability and, of course, make a push for top three uh, if they were to get uh, another a couple of results and, of course, final with the defeat there. Next, of course, Avia Tizana up against SC Helen and Bean uh, coming at you on Sunday as well. Of course, now these two sides have played your corner of my eyes. Uh, 61 times in 1983, 18 wins of Test, 20 wins of Helen Bean, and 23 draws. Of course, Via Test have won two, lost two of the last four. 40 percent form up against Helen Bean side, just one defeat past six. 67 percent form for them heading into this match as well. Last time around, of course, OB and Via Test was a 1-1 draw back in December 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, a 2-1 win of Via Test back in Helen Bean, back in October this campaign as well. Helen Bean with a 3-3 draw against Campbell. Via Test with a 2-1 win over Go Eddie Eagles. The odds for this one, far a three on is your beer test. They are uh, uh, fancy by the bookies. 14 to 5 is short and 10 to 3 is your head and bean on this. I'm going to go with a 2 1 win as well for the hosts. Uh, following the bookies on this one and taking the three points as well. And we'll have Tway. We'll wrap up the streak here up against Hercules Almlo coming at you on Saturday, May the 7th. Be with you now. These two sides that pleasure 29 times to 2006. Nine wins for Wilhelm, 12, uh, 17 wins for Hercules, and of course, three draws as well. Just one win at the last six, though, for, uh, for Wilhelm right now. 25% form up against Hercules side. Just one defeat past four. 42 percent form heading into this match as well. Last round, of course, at Wilhelm was a 4 near win. For Wilhelm back in September 2020, the reverse fixture course, a 3-2 win for Hercules back in October 2021. The host has won the last five occasions of this one. Uh, the last time the away side one was when Wilhelm beat Hercules back in October 2019 in a seven-goal Bobby Dazzler. Meanwhile, Hercules Amlo with a draw against 20, of course, Wilhelm with a loss against uh, PSV. The odds, though, for this one, uh, we've got Wilhelm 65 with a victory, 20 10 is your draw, and 9 to 4 is your away win. That's, of course, Hercules Amlo. I'm going with a 0 0 draw here, which, of course, won't do anybody any favours as they try to end the season as well. That is it. Be sure to get your picks in the color. Of course, cut your just Dutch. I get your name in lights, of course. Please, it does wonders for the old algorithm. Smash that thumbs up. Smash your subscribe. Check your links down below Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. But until then, boys, we're done right now.